joined by CF head coach Lee Patsos, senior Jimmy Merrill, sophomore Nico Clareth, coach of with Opening State. You know, the fans have been great this year, thanks for the support. Uh, certainly in our last game of the year for the kids to get 7,000 in here was great. Um, you know, we just, really good win. Really, so Maris is good. They get Parker back. Those guys, the way they shoot threes. I, I was at the Maryland Iowa game yesterday and I said, oh God, I brought it, I brought it back. I brought the virus back. Because Iowa made eight of their first nine threes for was there. I think they shot 16 for 24 from the three to win the game. So I said, this, we can't, fellas, we let them get going. And I thought Nico deserved a lot of credit. The old guys, they're, they're old for a reason, seniors, they just emotional. And they were, you know, doing their best, but a little slow start after a very tough game Friday night. I mean, some people said that was the best game of the year in the MAC. Well, it wasn't for us because we didn't win. But I appreciate that we battled, and we needed some fresh legs and energy. And I thought Nico provided it defensively on the bench, making shots, and uh, I appreciate that. It's really come through the last month for us. And tennis, getting a couple rebounds and making sure that you won your four minutes. We, we talk about winning your four minutes at a time. And you do that in Rennie's next clinic, how it's four minutes at a time in college basketball. And he won his. So that's great. Congratulations. We'll take it in. And believe me, Marist is good. They won two in a row. They had us on the ropes down there. This program's going to be good. But I'm not going to miss Khalid Hart because he's just, he's just a tough, tough player. And I think he's going to play overseas. And uh, Marist has got a lot of sharpshooters. That's what he does. He's brought in guys that can shoot him. They were spreading us out and making tough shots, but we didn't quit. And then the second half defensively it was all them. It was all the players down there. I'll take any questions. How important is it to have? I mean, like you've seen the past few games, having Nico in to shoot with threes like that. I, mean, yeah, I wanted to do everything. I thought it was more his teaching. Yeah. He's always going to make threes or shoot threes or whatever. I thought it was his defensive energy. He was good in the huddle. A couple loose balls. You know, just just stuff like that. I mean, when he stuffs the stat sheet, it's a different game. You know, and it's some assists, but his energy gets some defensive stops, like by getting into the. You know, getting into them, not like they want to do what they want. They like the Princeton offense. When you let them go at their own pace, and we were a little tired, they're very effective. But Don Nico disrupted their momentum, and for the way they played, for us to have a five-point lead at halftime because Levon's pass was unbelievable, but to have a lead at halftime for the way they played, that was impressive. So Nico gets a lot of the credit for that. Nico, coming off a very hard-fought loss on Friday night, did you think the team would need your energy, maybe come off the bench, you know, this afternoon? Of course, uh, I think the, the team needs my energy and everybody else's energy every game, and um, I just try to bring it every game as best as I can. Talk about the block you had on Richie Mitchell on the breakaway to really get the fans going. What did you see on that when the kid had the, uh, the breakaway? Did it hundreds of times before. <laughs> just hundreds? Same, same thing. Hundreds? You played a lot of games. Same <laughs> <way>. <laughs> Been doing it since high school. They play three games a day in AAU, Mark. There's this new thing, you know. It's called the AAU. They play like three games a day for two months. Never heard of it. Yeah, I know you have. You should come on a trip one time. You'll find out all the interesting people you'll meet on that. Jimmy, you have some pretty phenomenal seniors on this team. I know you're going to play in this building again, um, but still, senior night, to be able to sort of send that out the regular season with these guys on that note, how, how special is that? Oh, it's great. They're all great people, you know. They get in. LaVon and Marquise weren't going to, you know, when I got the job, they weren't supposed to come here. They just kind of came in a blank. Where are we going? I'm like, trust me, just you're going to like this place. It's a great place. And they came. And then Javion had to be re-recruited because some people jumped in and tried to get him. And then, of course, you know, Brett staying for his fifth year. And Brett, Brett, Brett Bisping buying in from day one. But the first person I ever met on my, my first press conference was him. And he, I knew he was a basketball player, but I said, what else do you do? He said, I play tennis. I said, you're like John Isner. You're tall. That's why we call him Jimmy Tennis. But, and his dad and his brother goes to Siena. It's a nice group, but the managers are really important. But... It's great to get the win in this building in front of the fans. The fans deserve it. They stuck with us. You know, you have 15 wins and come in tied for third or fourth or whatever it is. I know we have to play in the 4-5 game. We were at the pinnacle there. It wasn't so great coming back from Buffalo, even though they were close losses. This, a lot of teams would have quit, and this team didn't quit. Okay. So Fairfield with Nelson and all those guys, Mitch, he's coaching. That's a really good team. Let's see if we can win that, and then we'll figure out the next thing. The good news is we get a lot of rest. You know, we're, in, we're out of the bye game. You know, if the first goal is not to come in 6th through 11th, if you want to talk about it. Of course, one, two get a huge advantage. Three, four, five have to play three days in a row. But I just Fairfield's really good. You know, they're 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 hot. They're playing good. So they tied it. They came back and tied us up in this building. Yeah. How much of a challenge is it to beat them for a third time? Also, when they're playing well, coming off a of Buffalo trip sweep and everything. It's a challenge to play everybody in our league. Our league's good. Our league's good. I, I just went through all the leagues. Our league's really good. There's a reason why I think we're 16th. There's 30 conferences. We're 16th. Some other people playing conferences and rack up a lot of wins. Well, the conferences are 22 and 24 and 27. Ours is 16th. 
Since I've been here, the average in this league is hovers around 15, 16, right, Michael? Mm -hmm. That's real. Those are real numbers. I can't make those up. Everyone in our league, every night's a tough game. I know that. But Fairfield, sitting coach, you know, they can really go. Nelson's really good. I know they got Cobb. But the big guy's a handful. I really like him. That Sadibi's a great player. He gets double doubles, and they're going to come in here with a lot of energy. But if we win that game, we're, we're, we're getting deeper. You know, Khalil's going to give a little something to us. Khalil's fine. You know, and I think Sammy playing a few minutes today showed us that he can play a couple minutes. And said, Sammy, this is the worst game in the world for Sammy to play because they spread you out. You can play against those big guys. We'll play Sammy, right? We'll play Sammy a little. <clears throat> Would it be fair to say when Clarence and Wright is on their A game and your team is rebounding and playing the A grade defense that you showed today, is it fair to say that you feel good about you can go in this tournament and win? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, look, that Mamba game, we gave them all they wanted. You know, they, there was a couple things just didn't go our way. A couple bounces of the ball didn't go our way. They made a really tough shot. I watched the shot. It was a super tough shot, you know, and then we're fine, but. Yeah, and, and I think Nico should get six man of the year. I really do. I, don't, I think he should get the six man of the year again. But Khalil's going to have to help us. Or Kadeem might have to play defense. Or Sammy or Evan. Somebody's got to go in the middle a little bit because that guy's out. That guy's out. Javion's a little tired right now. I can see it. I know when Javion gets tired, he needs a couple of personal days, get his mindset, get ready to go. It's been a lot of basketball for Javion. He gets pounded on all the time. He doesn't get, not that the refs aren't great because they're great, but he doesn't get the most calls in the league. It doesn't seem so. And he's been doing the yeoman's work around this place for because Brett, Brett's a really tough player. He's a more of a step out guy and stuff like that. Jamie Ons does it night after night, takes the pounding in there, and I think he needs a couple days, and we're going to need Jamie Ons A game. So it's a team effort. We don't care who scores, we just want to win. Uh, Jimmy, people were like that everyone was very hard for you to make it one of those threes. Even though you didn't make one, how was your senior day experience? Uh, it was really special. I'm just thankful for the opportunity to start. Uh, as a team, we wanted to get the win today, get some momentum. Maris, a really good team. They've won a couple of games in a row. So it was important for us to come together and get a win, get some momentum going into the three game speech, didn't you, Jim? What'd you say? Said, uh, we're a good team. We can do this. We got to protect our home court and get the win today and senior day. Was it louder? Was it protect this house? So you learn. You can be the penny right there. Yeah. Um, and when did you find that you started? You learn about uh, a couple weeks. days ago, I found it. I mean, what, what, what's that? What's that? Kind of learned you'll be starting and see if you're in. Have that uh, it was very exciting. I just wanted to come out and do a good job and help the team uh, any way I could. You've helped us all along for four years. Thanks. What, what advantage does it give you in the tournament against Fairfield, being the fact that you beat them when they were at the top of the division early in the season? Yeah, no, it's always going to be a good game. They're running more. They're running fire threes. When they, they, they probably watch the last couple of tapes. They're going to hit threes. You know, people have been coming in here and hitting threes. I told you it's a great place to play. It's an exciting building, but we're, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it for 40 minutes. and. You know, Nelson, first, second team guy. Cobb's had 40 before. Like I said, Sadiwi's good. I know Johnson can shoot up the catch. But they're running. I admire Sidney because he's changed. He, he was a real Princeton guy. You know, that's a pretty, you know, I'm a flex 55 press guy from Gary Williams. He's a big career guy. He's adapted. Now he said, we're going to run. They're going to run. You're going to get back in transition and match up. And we, One of the flaws, one of the failures that I had as a coach against Monmouth was I didn't get our team to come back in defense enough and match up in transition. They got a couple big threes. You better match up against Fairfield, but we'll get on to that. You know, really proud of these guys. 15 wins, a lot of wins at our level and our strength of skip. I checked out the standings, and I'm not complaining, but everybody we play is in first place. So, you know, we got to use that experience, too. But Fairfield's good. They're good. They'll be ready. Nico, you were pretty disappointed for Jimmy when that last three kind of went in and out. I said, we looked at the guys on the bench, and you looked like you were really hoping that thing would go in. Uh, how did you feel for him just getting a chance to play that in? I mean, it felt great. Uh, tennis is a guy who just sacrifices everything. Um, he, he doesn't really get much playing time, but he helps us in practice. He, he's there for you to talk. He's, he's just like, he's the glue. He's the glue. Everybody loves tennis. Everybody, he doesn't do any wrong. I mean, him to hit that three was everything. I mean, you can see it on the bench. Everybody just wanted it to be like, this is, this is you, bro. Like, this is how long guys were impressed with the three rebounds. The generation blown me one <laughs> so I thought you did good at getting three rebounds. Well, locker room's so glad, young yeah, man. Good to see you again. How are you today? I'm very well, thanks. Good. The crowd was. Oh, yeah, I see the media tells you not to ask me how I'm doing. Yeah. He was so polite. <laughs> he was so polite for two weeks, and now it's look. He's like, yeah, screw you, man. Good for you. <laughs> Welcome to the media. Thanks. Be unhappy and miserable. <laughs> Next thing you do, you'll throw away your tie, and you'll just be one of them. <laughs> so the crowd is huge tonight. What is the confidence level like, knowing that you? possibly have this in the match tournament. No, this, the crowd's everything about here. That's why I've always loved coaching here, whether it was as an, as an opposing coach and the head coach. And 
You know, I just hope the late game doesn't scare away some of the fans. That's one of the things. It's not. It's just part of the deal. But you know, you just—it's great. This place is a great place to play, and I just the convention center getting done when the front gets done and everything gets really nice around here is just going to make it even better. But come on out it's Saturday night. You know, this the you know this this it's it's March basketball. Whether you're a player, a fan, coach, whatever, when it, college basketball is about March. That's why it's one of the most popular things in the country, and this is it. So Saturday, come on out. But we need our fans. Thank you. Take away some of the yelling you for it.